Hey everyone, this is Julian. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Planting with Julian Southern California Plant Haul. I guess that is what I'm going to title today's video. So I'm back in Las Vegas. I just filmed Thursday's check-in which would have gone live a few weeks prior to this video. And I think by the time this video goes live, I may be back from Iceland and Italy. And I think we might be in October. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's plant haul. It was kind of a sporadic plant purchases. I wasn't planning on doing any plant shopping until I'm done traveling for the year because I'm not really home right now. I'm just here and there, literally between Las Vegas, Santa Monica, and traveling around the world right now. But I did buy some plants from my very popular big open market that I do with the shop once a month. And I got some plants repurchased. In fact, I'm looking at them now. And three out of the four plants that I bought, I've repurchased before. And if you're familiar with me and my plant shopping and my plant habits when it comes to adding plants to the collection, I will give myself three chances to buy a plant. I think that's a lot. And after three chances, if it doesn't work with my schedule my lifestyle where i am in the world where the plant is living then i just kind of let it go but there's a lot of plants that i give second try third try and I, apparently three out of the four plants i decided to give another chance instead of buying plants i've never had before comment down below if that has ever happened to you and i'll explain the reason why i repurchased them so i guess i should talk about the first plant right here this is my philodendron my second one silver sword and you can see what it looks like i have my original philodendron silver sword in santa monica with the santa monica collective i think i recently restaked it in um planting with julian video if not you might have seen it on a plant tour it was one point living in the santa monica studio and now it's been living in my patio it has lots of new growth and you probably might have seen it on my recent pot of fame so you can kind of compare what my mother plant looks like compared to this one that i just got and the reason why i love this plant so much is i think probably the green silvery hue of the beautiful foliage I'm a huge fan of this muted color. Comment down below if you have the silver sword. I just love philodendrons in general. And I wanted to buy it probably, maybe, I can maybe try to grow this one in Las Vegas. I don't know yet. Or another plan that I could do, which I've done before, is I can make my planter a little bit more fuller and adding this with my mother plant and that plant has been living in the collection for a couple of years so i haven't decided yet the plants are going to be staying in las vegas for the rest of the month while i travel i'll eventually probably take it to santa monica to do planting videos so comment down below do you think i should keep this in las vegas or do you think i should add this to the mother plant in santa monica to make it a little bit more fuller comment down below i absolutely love the silver sword one of my favorite philodendrons and this particular one i think is like it's a good one you know what does the condition of the root system looks like i'm pretty sure it's a cutting i don't know until i actually take the plant out but i'm gonna just let it be for a couple of weeks here in las vegas while i travel and then hopefully when i do a planting with julian in the future we see some nice roots and i can maybe decide next to my mother plant if i put it together in the same planter will it look great or i'll just keep it here in las vegas i haven't decided another plant i repurchased is my sagonium elbow this is my variegated sagonium now the reason why i repurchased this plant and if i can find the picture of my original mother plant i'll insert it now so you can see it was gorgeous living and thriving its best plant life in santa monica and i believe this was like in the fall when i last took the picture it was on a pot of fame and it was doing so well i had it staked up and then i traveled and i came home and the plant was not happy and i tried to not get it myself all upset over things like this anymore because with hundreds of plants if a plant or two is upset about my lifestyle i'm not gonna get mad at myself it is what it is i think that's where i'm at now with my plant life and just go from there so 
I finally decided that I was going to get me another one and try again. As you can see, there's some beautiful aerial roots here. I plan on staking it up and letting it grow up instead of trail. And hopefully this plant won't give me any trouble. I see a leaf unfurling here along with another leaf. So let's see what it looks like when I'm back in Las Vegas in two weeks. I wanna give a shout out to my grandma and my mom for taking care of the plant babies while I'm out of town. But comment down below if you have the Sagonium elbow and do you like arrowheads? You know, do you find them to be uh, hard to take care of in your part of the world and where you live and where you have plants? Uh, for me, I never had any problems in Santa Monica. It was only when I traveled and I came home and the plant was not happy. And that was actually one of my top 10 house plants at that moment in time with the collection. Like, it was one of my prized plants. And then when I went to Florida and I was doing plant shopping in South Florida, I had an opportunity to buy another elbow and I didn't because I wanted to add other plants in the collection. So... It's okay, I waited a little bit longer and I finally got me a replacement plant. So comment down below, what do you think about my replacement plant? I think it's a good one, it's a good one. Now let's talk about this plant, another philodendron, and the reason why I purchased it for the third time. The first time I had a big full mother plant, it was living its best life, and then I think I traveled and then it wasn't happy, and then I had one of my subscribers um, gift me, I believe, her mother plant because it's just a very hard plant to take care of. They're very dramatic plants. She didn't want the plant anymore, so I adopted the plant. And that plant was okay and then not okay. And then and now I have rooted babies from that mother plant that she was rooting that she didn't want anymore that she made me adopt. Those ones are living in the bathroom and they were on my recent pot of fame so you can see what that looks like but they're tiny babies i don't know why i'm so attracted to this plant probably because the shape of the leaves and the stems are very unique one-of-a-kind stems so can anybody guess before i bring out the plant okay it is <sighs> philodendron squamiforum this one is kind of crazy as you see, it's kind of leaning to the side. So I think when I plant it up in a couple of weeks, I'm gonna have to maybe stake it up somehow. Maybe like on a wire stake to keep it upright because it is top heavy. And I couldn't help myself. I'm going to try again for the third time uh, and uh, wish me luck. Comment down below if this is a dramatic plant for you. If you've had this in your collection or currently have it. And where is it living? I think at one point, my original mother plant was probably living in the Santa Monica studio. And then living in my bathroom. And then I traveled and all of the leaves one day just like fell off. Oh, I remember now. Heavy rain, I believe. It was one of the heavy rainy days. And it was outside and all of the leaves fell off. It was one or the other. But here we are. Fast forward to summer 2022 and I repurchase the plant. Am I crazy? Yes. Will I repurchase the plant again? No. This is the last time I'm going to purchase the plant, but I'm a huge fan. It's just, I love the quirkiness, weirdness of this philodendron and it's a pretty big mother plant. So, you know, if it doesn't work out for me, like here, this one section here is a baby you know maybe i can save the plant if it starts you know being upset uh, but that is my uh, big purchase of today's haul it's definitely me taking a risk with my plant life because i think out of the three plants i've shared now the squamiferum is the most dramatic plant <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving it a chance, but like I said, I just, I'm attracted to the weirdness of it. So if it doesn't work out for me this time, I'm sorry, Squamiforum. We are no longer going to bring you into the collective. And these plants are, you know, they're not cheap plants either. So once I do a replanting video in the future, in a couple of weeks, it'll probably live in my bathroom. And so to wrap up today's video, 
We're ending with a Hoya, a Hoya that I've never had in the collection. And the vendor that sold it to me said that it was a super silver. And I've never had this Hoya before. So I decided to have this as part of the haul. I'm a huge fan of Hoyas. If you keep up with the channel and my crazy life, you know that I love preserving the blooms and making art pieces with them, wearable mm. art. And I don't know, I didn't look up what the blooms look like, but any Hoya blooms, I'm definitely happy to have and work with for my small business. So I could not help myself but to have a Hoya in today's plant haul. And uh, that is going to be it for my impulsive plant shopping plant haul for Southern California. Uh, comment down below, what do you think about the plants that I repurchased? Do you think that it was crazy of me to repurchase it? Or do you think that I should have maybe gave a plant I never had before in the collection a try? I mean, we are integrating a new Hoya into the collection. And that one will most likely live in the patio in Santa Monica. And I look forward to doing up upcoming planting videos for Monday's uploads here on the channel. But that is going to be it for today's haul. I wanted to sit down and share with you the plants that I get before I head to Iceland and Italy for the rest of the month. And we'll see when I do plant shopping again. But I think it's going to be in the Bay Area when I'm done traveling for this year. And I look forward to seeing what the Bay Area plant life is looking like in a couple of weeks. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on another Planting with Julian plant haul and for supporting the channels. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the plants that I impulsively bought. And like I said, when I went to the market uh, to do my pop-up, I was not planning on buying any plants. And actually, it's very rare. I think ever since I started doing that market, I think maybe only once or twice prior to this haul, I did plant shopping. Other than that, I just focused on the shop. So I think that's pretty good. And I think, you know, maybe because I didn't do any plant shopping in August for my birthday, maybe, perhaps. That is why I decided to do some plant shopping. Who knows? But we're here today. I love the plants and I look forward to doing some upcoming Planting with Julian videos. So I'll sign off here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe between both the main channel and the vlog channel. You get a video each and every day. And if you would like to support my small business, you can log on to my web shop, julofhawaii.com. You can see all of my resin work, small to large, grandma's handmade goods, all on the web shop or come to one of my pop-ups. I will see you very soon for more Planting with Julian content. Until next time, aloha from the Knife Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. Bye!